Karen, did you ever have a committee of evidence? <laughs> There's a flag order. These are written by Hubbard, which says you're not really a seasoned Sea Org member until you've had a committee or two, um, one or two committee of evidences. Over the years, I had remarkably few, but I had my share. The worst one was in the 1980s. In the 1980s, the greed of the church already had surged and it was insatiable for cash. People think they've gotten greedy now. This, uh, early 1980s, the greed was there. And a diabolical plot was hatched up. They have these FSC offices, flag service consultants, CO members who work 80 hour weeks to get people to go to Clearwater. That's why Clearwater have a flow. There's these offices, these Sea Org members, there's usually about four to six in each office, do nothing but grab local people to go to Clearwater. So in other words, these uh, FSC offices are just sales offices? They're for, sales offices. For the flag land base. For the lot for flag. That's how flag can make a couple of million a week. A diabolical plot was hatched. These FSCs were to go to every org on the planet and find out the people making no gain, who were completely dissatisfied. What? What have I paid fifty thousand dollars for? This is not. I got better gain at my shrink office. I did to round up all these people and send them to flag to the class 12 HEC, where they would sit in front of an auditor for $1,000 an hour, $1,000 an hour. And I protested heavily the kind of person that was arriving at FLAG. People who just were drying off from heroin, who had complete and utter amnesia, memory loss, people who were literally suicidal, who were threatening to throw themselves off the 10th floor onto the cement. Some of these belonged in an institution, but they could afford a thousand dollars an hour. And Flag took the cash and dumped them there for me to be the case supervisor. When I acted up and was wanting these people sent home with their money, I was considered to be damaging and destructive to elevating stats of cash. Committee of Evidence. Trying and attempting to destroy finance lines was one of the charges. Interfering with finance. So a committee of evidence was called. And I talked to the four people who were there to see I got slaughtered and showed them the evidence of... And the committee of evidence basically said, you know, she's a very high producer and uh, we recommend she goes back to post. They were disbanded. And when you don't find enough crimes, it's automatically thought you were in cahoots and you've got similar crimes. And when you're a disgraced, disbanded committee of evidence, the rest of the world in Scientology, the rest of your division is supposed to look you up and find out what crimes do you have that you're covering up that made you not see the crimes of the person under Committee of Evidence. So, team number two. And we went through all the evidence, they got my testimony, and they said, wow, she's <laughs> she got valid points, and they were disbanded. You see, the end result of sending me to the RPF was preordained. So the third Committee of Evidence sent me to the RPF. 
then the Committee of Evidence was all over. It was preconceived that I was to be removed. Why? I was challenging authority and challenging the dishonesty of raking in money at $1,000 an hour for people we could not help. And because I did that, the kangaroo courts of <laughs> committees of evidence occurred till I was found guilty and sent to the gulag. So with the committee of evidence, you're not innocent until found guilty, you're guilty until found guilty. Bingo. When you're under a justice action, you smell, you're odorous. You're not supposed to eat at the table where you eat. You're in, under a justice action. You eat rice and beans in that corner. People will walk by you and their eyes will avert you because you smell, because you're under a Kamev or you on your way to the RPF. So you are automatically shunned in the sea oak and looked on as a shady character. You're under a justice action. So that's exactly right. You are, <laughs> even if you were theoretically innocent, the group turns on you when you're under a justice action. But conversely, There's no such thing as wait till he's proven guilty. There's no such thing in the C organization. Now conversely, L. Ron Hubbard said that if your stats are up, you could get away with murder. That is, if you're producing, you, have, you can get away with anything, correct? Well, you see, that's exactly the argument that the first two Committee of Evidences on me gave. Look at her statistics. She's untouchable. Meant nothing. They wanted me off the line because I was bucking authority on this dishonesty. So, th Jeffrey, there's so much written in Paul. What is, that's the, that video I made, the snake with two heads. What is written in policy? What actually goes on? On two ends of the spectrum. <laughs> it doesn't, it looks good. It's, some of the policies look so good. There's a policy called What is Greatness by Hubbard. How you never, you forgive your mortal enemies. You have this great benign heart. How much does Scientology Inc. forget their enemies? You know, every time I, t today was the big news. Is HBO going to come out first, or the BBC and Louise Theroux? Tony Ortega broke the story. There's now 15 media covering it. <laughs> the church continues on its rampage. But when I first read the backlash, I had a moment of almost feeling sorry for them. All I need to do when I feel sorry is go read some of their hate pages, their smear pages. And then, I, <laughs> like Popeye and the Sailor Man, mm -hmm. it's my spinach. I'm ready for the next 1,500 videos. You ready? For the next 1,500 videos, Jeffrey? Let's make it 3,000. Okay, <laughs> 3,000 videos. Stay with me on this channel.